Hello YouTube, I'm taking my pool down for the fall and I decided it'd be a good time to show you the solar heater that I built for the pool. It's, uh, it's not fancy, but it worked very well. You do gotta forgive me for the weeds that have grown up around the pool this year. I was did not trim them before I chose to make this video. Okay, we got an Intex pool, pretty common. It's an 18 foot diameter pool. So on these pools, there's a drain on each side. So there's one here, and then there's one on the other side of the pool. And my idea was, I'm gonna take cold water from the drain, and I'm gonna circulate it through a solar system, and then pump it back in on the other side. So I'm taking cold water and pumping it back into cold water, and it worked amazingly well. When it was cooking on a hot summer day, the water coming out was just hot, like hot, hot. I didn't have a waterproof thermometer to test it four feet down, but it was very hot and it worked extremely well. Okay, so anybody that's messed with a Intex pool or any of these kinds of pools knows that they've got some uh, unique threads and unique fitting sizes. I think they do that just so that they, you can't just mix and match pieces from the hardware store from other pools. So what I had to do was I got a piece of flexible piping here and some hose clamps. I got a um, piece of rubber hose here. And so I got my hose clamp here. This was able to fit on just right over top of the drain. I, I couldn't get anything that was the correct thread. It's a really wide thread. So I just wrapped it with heavy duty electrical tape and then put this fitting on and clamped it down with the hose clamp. That worked fine. So we go from there to a section of garden hose, just a little like a four foot section to the inlet of this pump. I had an extra pump laying around. Yeah, it's embarrassing the amount of weeds that grew up around here. Anyway, I had an extra pump laying around. So I've got the garden hose connected to a fitting, a hose fitting, and then I've got a plastic PVC fitting that was the correct thread for a hose fitting and that goes to a rubber one and a quarter by one and a quarter rubber coupler with um, hose clamps on it so I was able to put that on there and then put another rubber end on here with another hose clamp and that was able to fit onto the end of the pump again not pretty you're slipping rubber over top of threaded fittings and clamping them down it, but it, it worked it wasn't leaky at all it worked just fine so that's for the inlet for the pump i took the filter out of this pump because i didn't need it i've already got a sand filter i was only using it for the pumping capability so then i've got the same setup on the other side with the, the rubber fitting and the hose clamps threaded fitting hose and then a section of hose so this section of hose wraps around the pool the section of hose wrapped around over here. Then I've got these two sections of 50 feet of black uh, hard tubing. And I believe it's a half inch tubing. So there's two of these. And again, the grass grew up around them over the winter or over the summer. But I've got so 50 feet of green garden hose and then, I don't know, at least a hundred feet or more of black uh, hard tubing i believe it's half inch got little corner 90 degree plastic fitting here with hose clamps to make the garden hose stick to the hard plastic and it's already it's in there so then it, it just goes in and it wraps around and around and around and around around got the two black sections connected together with a piece of hose in the middle and then i've got 50 feet of garden hose on top of that also connected in line so that all connects follow the hose over to the other drain on the pool the idea was it would pull water out of the one drain pump through the the pump go through all of that heavy uh black and green tubing over there after it had been sitting in the sun, I made sure I had it sitting at a southern exposure. So it had sunlight from like 7.30 in the morning till probably 7.30 at night. And it would just sit there and bake. And I've got it connected to a timer. That timer would turn on for 15 minutes, turn off for 30 minutes, turn back on for 15 minutes. 
and every time it would kick on it would just pump hot water into the bottom of the pool so I, I really liked that it was helping the water circulate on the bottom of the pool and it was also mixing in hot water from it was taking cold water from the bottom and pumping it back in where cold water is instead of up towards the top where it's already hot from the solar cover and we got to the point this summer where it was so hot we actually had to turn the pump off and take the cover off for a couple days because it just it was like being in a bathtub uh, this worked remarkably well if you got an extra pump laying around that part would be free for you I, I had one laying around and then the hose that stuff's pretty cheap a couple of fittings were pretty cheap and the power of the sun a little bit of electricity I'll show you the timer that I used this is the timer that I used so I just set the current time on it and then I've got it set to go for 15 minutes and then shut off for 30 minutes and I had it set from about uh, let's see 8 30 in the morning give or take to about 7 30 at night worked remarkably well hope this helps some other people I know when I was searching for ideas for a solar heater that there was nothing out there so I hope this helps some other people and uh, if you got any questions feel free to comment and I'll try to help you out thanks